and a touchdown with 19 minutes and 16 seconds left to play in the game. uniforms have certainly changed since the 1960s. In fact, college teams use them to recruit kids nowadays, and the Denver Broncos are a big reason why that started. I'm Phil Milani alongside Eric Dalala. We're going to go over the history of the Broncos uniform combinations here, and then we're going to rank our favorite Broncos uniforms. I'll just tell you right off the bat, Eric and I disagree. Something as fundamental as blue versus orange. It's rare for us to disagree, Phil. Even on something so basic, so obvious. The Broncos' alert pass defense results in a total of six pass interceptions. Let's start with uh, the first uniforms the Broncos debuted in, that yellow and brown, only wore it for two seasons. And it's probably a good thing that we only have black and white video of this. Yeah, Phil, you've got the brown helmets uh, with the white lettering on them. You've got these kind of must yellow jerseys, you've got brown pants, yellow and brown striped socks. I mean, it's just not a uh, very visually appealing uniform. Like you said, only lasted two seasons, then they got rid of them in kind of an interesting fashion. Yeah, uh, reportedly, they actually burned these uniforms, lit them on fire, torched them. And uh, I think we all got to see it come to life a little bit in 2009 when the Broncos wore them in a throwback game. They beat the Patriots, but I think that uh, everyone wants to forget about these uniforms. Yeah, so when they uh, when they changed after the 1961 season, I think people were, were happy about that. And certainly, if you look back at the Broncos' history, uh, you're kind of glad that maybe you left that chapter behind. The Broncos 7-20 and 1 while wearing these uniforms. So maybe a good thing that they put them to rest because Starting in 1962, they switched to that bucking Bronco with the all orange helmet. Sunday, October 21st, brought the big orange in the Rocky Mountain area into full maturity. I love this helmet. You know, you got that one blue stripe down the middle. You got a bright orange jersey, white pants, uh, got some orange socks. I mean, I know you, you like orange, and this jersey had, this uniform had plenty of it. <laughs> playful era with uh, with uh, logos and that type of thing and this one certainly right there Floyd Little only got to wear this uniform for one season and uh, throughout the 1960s the Broncos had different accents different stripe on the on the sleeve we're just going to for the purpose of this video we'll just consider this one era of uniform uh, Phil they did briefly wear that all blue helmet in 1967 with those orange uniforms but Hey, you know, once we got past the 1960s, Phil, the record got a little bit better. Uniforms got a lot better. The Broncos, uh, 22, 60, and two while wearing that uniform. And then uh, they even got to bring it back. They wore it twice in 1994, uh, once against the Raiders and once against the Bills. Kind of funny seeing John Elway with that bucking Bronco on the side of his helmet. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of cool when any of the players, you know, whether it's John Elway, or like you mentioned, wearing those uh, those 1960 uniforms later on. It's just kind of cool to see today's players in those old uniforms. You see that guy, quick look. You can read that strong signal. If he takes off, then you go to the tight end. He'll be wide open. I'll probably be going in because the flow's going that way, see? And then I got to pick my, you know, we're either in or out, but see, they're playing me out, so I'm uh -huh. hooking in. In 1968, the Broncos switched to the all-familiar D logo with the Bronco in it, the snout puffing out uh, some steam there. And uh, I know that a lot of Broncos country really favors this uniform. Yeah, Phil, it's an awesome helmet. It looked great with those orange uniforms. Uh, and hey, what's not to like? Because after a tough decade there in the 60s, the Broncos went to four Super Bowls while wearing this helmet. Uh, weren't quite able to get that first Lombardi trophy, but you know, a lot of appearances. First, that 1977 team, of course, but then you know, three times with John Elway wearing this helmet. It's, it's iconic. It is iconic, and there's some really classic moments with that helmet. Of course, you know, the drive 
of remembering, uh, you know, that orange jersey trotting out there on the field in Cleveland. It's muddy, you know. There's just something special about this uniform. And, you know, you mentioned that 1977 team, made the Broncos making their first Super Bowl appearance. The orange crush. This, I mean, this uniform really was uh, the team's identity for a long time. Yeah, and kind of what the Broncos were wearing when they kind of came on the map, you know. I mean, there's no question that uh, when Pat Bowen bought the team a year earlier, when John Elway came to Denver and kind of the Broncos took this next step, I mean, this is what they were wearing. So it's impossible to write the history of the Broncos without this uniform. I love this uniform. We'll get into the rankings a little bit later. But uh, the end of an era with this uniform came at the hands of a heartbreaking loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They had to change their uniforms after that game. That's how big of a loss that was. A new look. The same old magic. 1997, the Broncos switched their uniforms, uh, switched the logo to uh, what we have today. The new look is, of course, going to be talked about and criticized and liked by some people. But I, I think as we get into the season, it will be accepted. I mean, if we if we have a poor season, they're going to blame it on the lo new logo and the new uniform. Broncos owner Pat Bowen is quoted as saying that uh, he wanted a, a, a logo, a horse that looked like it was going to kick someone's ass. I love that. And I think, I think it's fair to say that that horse looks like that. Most definitely. It's a fierce horse, drastically different than that bucking Bronco uh, in the mid-60s. That's true. And, and yet, just to have that new logo uh, plus, you added these blue jerseys now for the very first time. Just a, a new look, and it paid off, Phil, because in the very first season that the Broncos wore this uniform, they won their first ever world championship. That was a little bit of a controversy at the time, though, switching from primary jerseys wearing orange, going to the blue. A lot of people were upset about that. But like you mentioned, once you win the Super Bowl in that blue uniform, all is forgiven. What happens if you do it a second time? Yeah, if you win it back-to-back -back Super Bowls, now you're really talking. The Broncos, of course, won that second one wearing the white uniform. But, you know, this uniform, uh, Nike really designed it. It was the first time that they tried to include performance in the jersey. And a lot of people uh, call this one the bat wing. You know, they've got that stripe down the side. That's the first time we've seen a uniform quite like that. And you know, we've seen what Nike has been able to do with football uniforms. And now it's a, a popular thing that these college teams, they have all these crazy uniform combinations. A lot of that credit goes to when this started with the Broncos switching in 1997. Yeah, Phil, like you mentioned, that orange stripe, the, the bat wing, that allowed them to take different types of fabric and combine it. So you had tighter fitting jerseys. So instead of you know, all these these loose fitting jerseys that you're used to seeing uh, from the 80s or early 90s. I mean, this was truly the turning point for that. And so I'm not sure if that was the Broncos intention, of course, when they decided to have a new jersey. But, you know, one way or another, they ended up shifting the landscape of how Nike designed jerseys, how teams. I, I mean, just think about it, Phil. Can you imagine Oregon now, for a chance, wearing one of these loose jerseys or or having to use one type of fabric. I mean, they do all sorts of crazy things, and that all kind of dates back to this. In 2012, they did switch back to orange as the primary uh, uniform, but they still wear the blue a lot, a couple of times every year. They even do the blue up top, blue pants, the uh, all one solid color. So uh, the Broncos sticking with this uniform, at least for now, and it, it's sort of uh, iconic as well. Yeah, and it's fun, Phil, you know, a couple times a year when you get to Blake break out the blue jerseys again. And I know fans are always interested to hear, are we wearing the white pants? Are we wearing all blue? Uh, you know, there's all kind of records that go with each of those combinations. It's, it's a fun thing to keep track of. But like you mentioned, they did change over in 2012. And much like uh, the blue jerseys kind of ushered in a new era for the Broncos, Pete Manning, you know, his very first game was in that orange uniform. Yeah, and then you think about the uh, the greats in Broncos history that only wore this uniform. You're talking about guys like Champ Bailey, Peyton Manning. Uh, they never wore that D on the side. So, Eric, enough talk about history and the different combinations. We want rankings. We want to know how you really feel about these things. So 
I think that uh, just for the purpose of sanity, let's break it down into five different options. The current logo wearing orange, current logo wearing blue, the D logo, the Bucking Bronco, and then finally uh, that brown and yellow. Yeah, well, let's uh, we'll start at the bottom there. And I think the brown and yellow has to be number five on my list. Uh, I feel bad piling on the 60s, but Phil, that's just, that's how it's gonna be. Uh, and number four, the, the Bucking Bronco, and I think it's really close here, actually, between the Bucking Bronco in the orange and the current logo in the orange. Uh, n number two, I guess, I would say the D logo, you know, that, that classic iconic look with the orange uniform. And then finally at number one for me is that blue jersey with the current logo. I, I just, it looks great. It's historic because the Broncos were able to uh, capture those first two Super Bowl titles. It's just, it's awesome. Yeah, I, I think you're crazy personally. Uh, when I think of the Broncos, I think orange. And uh, personally, my childhood is that D logo. So I gotta, I gotta say, the D logo wearing the orange is the absolute best uniform combination the Broncos ever had. I know a lot of people disagree. Uh, it's a very controversial topic, uniform combinations, but I'm saying that's my favorite. Even now, when the other day I saw uh, one of Steve Atwater's old orange jerseys, and it just looked awesome. I mean, it looked amazing. Um, then I would have to say number two is uh, the current logo with the orange. So the Broncos primary uniform now, I would say is number two. Number three, the Bucking Bronco. I love that helmet. I, I think that helmet's really cool. I think that uh, it would be fun instead of just only doing color rush to be able to maybe choose from some of these different options. Uh, I think that could be cool. Where am I? Oh, number four, I would say this logo with the blue. And then yeah, number five. It has to be that that yellow and brown. The only cool thing about the yellow and brown were the socks. That's true. Yeah, those are, but you, you can't really mix and match those with anything. You're not wearing those out too often, I don't think. Yeah, uh, yeah. You Maybe you could buy them and like wear them on Sundays around your house if you just want to kick back and watch a game wearing those socks. That's the only purpose for them. Yeah, I do think if you could take the blue jersey and the bucking Bronco helmet, That'd be awesome. Whoa. Whoa. That'd be awesome. Now you're talking. All right. I better uh, wrap this thing up because my voice is going to go away. I'm so passionate. I'm so fired up about this helmet stuff. Um, so let's uh, put this to rest. It's fun going back through and looking at some of the old school shots of them uh, wearing these different uniform combinations. Even just the, how the uniform changed over the years, the face mask. Eric, I know you're a big fan of just the one bar across but naturally, what else would you want? <laughs> exactly. All right, that's going to do it for our look back through and uh, our rankings of Broncos uniforms. For Eric Delilah, I'm Phil.